a place with luscious waves. Endless waters, and home to many majestic creatures, can easily be destroyed by a simple oil spill. Everyone loves going to the beach and feeling the hot sun on your back as you play in the nice and cool water. Not to mention the fun, adorable marine animals that everyone loves. But the pollution and recklessness of humans can put this indescribable feeling into a great deal of danger. This is National Oceanographic on Oil Spills, brought to you by Coral Reefs. The first thing most scientists think about after an oil spill is what biomes have been affected. One of the major biomes are the coral reef biome. The main vegetation affected are phytoplankton, algae, and seagrasses. The phytoplankton's job is to transfer the carbon dioxide from their air to inside the ocean. That and the algae both perform photosynthesis, a key part of the food chain. Destruction of the main producers in a particular area can lead to dangerous consequences, such as elimination of species in an area. The animals affected are usually along the lines of corals, turtles, sea urchins, and many more animals that live along the area, but mostly the ones that live near the surface of the water. One of the important facts about these creatures is that they work together through symbiosis, which is a relationship between two organisms where both are benefited. For example, anemone fish and sea anemone have a symbiotic relationship where the first provides safety for the second's fish and eggs, while the sea anemone protect the anemone fish from predators. This relationship is important because the disappearance of one species can affect many other species who had a symbiotic relationship with them. The climate of the affected areas is usually warm since the sea areas are relatively near to the sun because they are at or near the surface of the ocean. These areas in particular need sunlight for the phytoplankton to grow, which is actually limited by the oil spills because the oil becomes a thick layer between the plants and the sun. The geographic locations where the oil spills happen the most are the coast of East Africa, South India, Florida, and Australia. One oil spill can affect the amount of energy available in the affected ecosystem. For example, since the seagrass gets less sunlight because of the oil's opaqueness, they mostly die because they need energy to survive. This affects the herbivores and eventually the entire food chain. Oil spills also affect nutrient cycles. Since the affected plants will not be able to perform respiration, oxygen will not be able to be produced, which will lead to a decreased amount of oxygen available. This is a part of the oxygen cycle. As for the carbon cycle, the affected phytoplankton will not be able to transfer any carbon dioxide to the plants inside the ocean, which will lead to a greater amount of it in the air and less in the ocean. These destructive accidents also definitely affect the biodiversity in the affected area by killing a lot of the species. The biggest effect would be on the top level predators because they will not have any food and have the most limited population. Many oil spills have resulted in the eradication of species in an area which greatly affects the biodiversity. Of course the organisms to blame for this are humans. They happen on accident, usually because of oil leaking when transporting oil internationally through ships. This problem affects humans by putting the people who clean up the spill at risk, since having interactions with oil can cause eye irritation, breathing problems, and stress. Apart from the direct effects, oil spills also impact the local economy because of the decrease of the fish stock. Tourism will also be affected because less visitors would come to a place affected by an oil spill. British Petroleum, an oil company, is, unfortunately, well known for its many oil spills. The Deepwater Horizon, an oil rig located in the Gulf of Mexico, has exploded in April of 2010. This explosion is one of British Petroleum's biggest oil disasters. The explosion caused 210 million gallons of oil to be dumped in our world's ocean. It also killed 11 people and 3,000 feet deep worth of marine life. This disaster has caused lasting effects to this day. Ways to stop this destructive problem are actually very simple. Although some alternatives might be costly, the result is monumental. A simple way to do this is just to find other ways to transport things. Another easy way is bioremediation. Bioremediation is using natural present microorganisms to clean up oil spills. In this case, we will use the ocean's pre-existing bacteria to eat up the oil when it enters their habitat. Humans can add substances such as sulfate or nitrate fertilizers to the population of bacteria, which will cause them to multiply, helping decreasing the amount of oil. 
The adding of these substances will increase the rate of the oil cleanup by five times. As you can tell, the human race causes many of these problems, but can also easily fix them. So does anyone want to go for some cucumber rolls?